Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. Welcome to my channel. I am Lauren and I am a full-time kindergarten teacher. I am on a journey to flip furniture in order to raise money to pay off my student loan debt. And then eventually my goal is to help other teachers pay off their student loan debt. Today we are gonna be flipping this chair right here. If you've been around the channel a little bit, you know that these are one of my favorite flips. They are quick and most of the time easy, and they make a pretty decent profit as well. I got this chair for, let me check. I got this chair for, I think about $10. So again, these chairs, most people don't see the potential in them. So thrift stores tend to price them a little bit lower. This one is a swivel rocker, and I'm gonna clean it up. Let's get started. We're gonna reveal the underside of the chair. So one of the reasons that I really love these flips is because, like I said, they are easy. One reason they're easy is because you can pretty much use the tools that you have laying around your house. All you need to begin, scissors, some pliers, and then some needle nose pliers will really help you get the staples out if they don't come out with the first rip. So I'm gonna show you how three tools can make this chair come back to life. All right, so first thing you need is your scissors. And what I like to do is I just like to kind of shove them in there in between the skirt and the chair and get it started. I like to pry it away from the chair as much as possible. I'm wondering if this one can just be ripped. I'm kind of wondering if I should just leave this here. Hmm, this one's different than I've done before. We're gonna try to do it by leaving this part on here. Okay, that's how easy it is to get your skirt off. I've never quite had it happen to where the seam also didn't come off, but it looks like it's actually covering where the skirt was thinking that this one's gonna be different. You never know until you start. But I'm kind of glad I didn't go ahead and cut this because that could have been bad. Right here, this part kind of came up a little bit. I don't want to take this seam off because this is not pretty. It looks like it's been glued. So I'm going to just take my staple gun and staple that back into place. You know, there's actually staples in this piece, so I might just try to shove those back in there, maybe hammer them in. I'm gonna do that right now, and then we will cut off the rest of the skirt that didn't come off with it. So now that is on there and you can't even tell that I stapled it. So we are good to go there, boom. I'm gonna go around the chair, make sure that it's all looking good on the base before I clean it up. Now, if you notice right here, there is a little bit of the skirt left over from underneath because it just held on. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut that off.
Okay, let's flip it back up. So this right here is just a bit wrinkled, but that's fine. It's just extra fabric. Can't do anything with that, but it doesn't really look bad. Um, I'm gonna go around so you guys can see. That's where we stapled. That's just where the seam connects anyway, so that's gonna be sticking out just a tad bit. Again, just moving around, showing you guys the whole thing, the whole bottom. You can get some strings off. And then of course all of that will come off when I clean it. But it's a pretty clean, um, rip there so I'm pleased with that and I think it actually kind of helps hide where the skirt originally was there is a little bit of a gap here but truly the seam staying on there helps with covering up the spot where all of it was stapled and glued so but now we're gonna clean it it's really not in bad shape um, but since it was at somebody else's house, it's very, very, very important to make sure to clean the furniture. So I'm going to get out my Bissell vacuum and the cleaner and then give it a good spray down and a good vacuum, suck all of the dirt up. I think I saw like one stain, so I'm going to get that out as well. I know I've shown you guys this before, but this is why you need to get inside of every single crack there is. So let me show you. Pull this back and look, ugh. There's like just a bunch of gunk, leaves, dust, who knows what. So you have to pull this back. Cause I don't know about you, but I definitely don't want that in my house. And the last step of cleaning is to get the cushion. So I already sprayed the one side. I'm going to vacuum it and then I'll spray the other side and vacuum that. Then it will need to dry before we do pictures and posting. And that'll probably wait till tomorrow so this can dry overnight. All right, so now that I've got this all vacuumed and all, wa all washed down, I am going to go ahead and let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow we'll come back and set it all up, clean up the bottom of the rocker as well, and then we'll stage and we'll take photos in order to post for sale on Facebook Marketplace. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like a seafoam green color. So I'm kind of excited about it. Again, I have this goal to do as many color chairs as I can possibly find. Since I began back in August, I've done yellow, orange, oh gosh, brown, teal as you've seen. I've done a burnt orange one, which you've seen as well. I've done a green one. I have another green one sitting over there. And I'm just always on the lookout for these types of chairs, especially if they're in really good condition and don't take a lot of time. This flip took me less than two hours to rip the skirt off and to clean it up. So if you only have a couple hours on the weekend and you find one of these chairs, I recommend that you do it if you want to start getting into some flipping. These chairs are selling like hotcakes. I'm telling you, you've just got to find the right buyers. Keep that in mind if you're trying to get into flipping furniture. It doesn't always have to be with a paintbrush. So, staging and photos in the morning. Alright, and there we have it. It's 
all staged and ready for pictures. I got that light I was talking about and it's a beautiful day so I was able to open up the garage for the great lighting. So I'm gonna take some photos and post for sale. Well, it's official. These chairs are seriously one of my favorite things to sell. Again, I do like picking up the paintbrush, but just ripping off a skirt and vacuuming and I can earn $160. Yep, that's right. I posted it for $160 earlier today at like 10 o'clock. It is now 5.30 and one person reached out. They wanted it. They are on their way to pick it up. They already sent me Venmo. Tip. If you want someone to be sure to come and get it, if they say they are coming the next day, make sure that you try to get that money ahead of time. I did a half deposit so that I know she's coming and so that she knows that I have the chair here for her. If people don't want it that bad, they're not going to give you the money. Make sure you get that money in order to hold it. This chair is out of here. It cost me $10, just a little bit of time and elbow grease, two hours, no cost of materials really because I already had the vacuum and I already had the cleaner. We'll give that about $2 for my cleaner, so $12. So 160 minus 12, that is $148 to pay on my student loan debt. If you enjoy my content, if you like these chair flips, if you like me painting furniture, go ahead and get subscribed, like this video, comment what type of furniture flips you like the best on my channel. And as always, I'll see you on the flip side.